Okay, this is Nick. It's Nick again, and we continue on the videos about. Yes, we continue on the videos about um, measurements in physical science. Now, I know that in the previous video about significant figures, I came down pretty hard on the idea because um, in reality. It's not something that we see quite often, and um, individual is not difficult to understand. It's really not difficult to understand, but um, I think part of it, part of the reason why individuals typically have difficulties with it, is that you know they will understand it, uh, but because it's not something that is used daily. You know, it's, it's it's very easy to forget, and um, the next time you hear about significant figure might be years from this time. You know, so by the time you hear hear about it again, the information might might have gone from you. So, but it's not a difficult concept. But anyway, um, I will be going into exactly how to identify significant figures in this video. Uh, significant figures are really about two basic things, you know. Um, it's about the placement of zeros, placement of zeros, and also about decimals. You know, those are the two things that really govern the identifying significant figures. Um, Non-zero numbers are really the least to worry about. If, if it's a non-zero number, it is going to be significant. So we have three different rules. There are going to be three different rules in this video. Um, there, are, there are actually four rules, but um, the last one I'm going to I'm going to separate it from these three, um, and then we get into the, the whole issue of addition and multiplication of significant numbers or significant figures. But in this video, we are going to be dealing with um, three rules. Rule number one: all numbers that are not zero are significant. In other words, all non-zero numbers are counted as being significant figures. All right, and here's where I have I have a, a little chart here to give some examples. Examples for the first rule. Um, if you look over here. All, all these numbers, all these numbers are significant because they're not zero. So this has. Uh, Four numbers, so the significance of four. Sig sig significant figure of four. All right. Notice that none of these numbers um, uh, have, have any zeros in them. So therefore, you know, we are counting all the numbers. All the numbers. This is nine. This is nine. This is eight. This is ten. Ten. This is um, five. This is six, and this is four. All of them follow rule number one that any number that is not a zero is considered to be a significant number. All right, um, this is the easiest, this really is the easiest rule. Okay, rule number two zeros that are between. Numbers that are not zero are always significant. Let me just highlight this always. They're always significant. Okay, zeros that are placed zeros that are placed. Between non-zero non-zero numbers are considered to be significant, and that is true even if you have more than one zeros, and even if you have more than one zeros in more than one places. So in any case, as long as the zeros are enclosed within non-zero numbers, they are considered to be significant. Now let's look at some examples. 
OK. Um, here you can see that, um, first of all, the, the, the first rule is, all, is always available. OK. It's always available because it, it is a part of that determination. Let's look at the first one. The first one in the in the first rule it says that all all non zero numbers are significant. So in this case you have four non zero numbers. That's the first rule. But the second rule says that if the zero is between two non zero numbers, that zero has to be counted. So in this case we will have to count the zero. So you will have five significant zero six significant figures. For number one. For number two, notice that we have two sets of zeros and then two sets of zeros. It means that those zeros have to be counted. They have to be counted because they are they come between non-zero numbers. Alright? So in that case we have uh, ten. Ten as um, a significant zero. Again, notice again, rule number one, rule number one, and number three. We have one, two, three, four, five non-zero numbers. According to number rule number one, um, you have you have to count all of those. But we have here a zero between the four and the five, so we have six instead of five significant places. In this example, the same thing. We have uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six. We have six numbers and we have one zero, and that zero comes between two numbers. So we have seven significant figures. Uh, number number five. Number five is pretty simple. You have one point zero five. We have to count that five. We have to count that one as I mean, uh, sorry, sorry. We have to count the zero as significant. And therefore, we have three significant figures. Here we have some zeros. We have, um, actually, um, that is incorrect. We have two, three, four, five zeros. Five zeros. We have five zeros, five zeros, and and one, two, three, four, four numbers. So together they come up to to be nine. Significant place of nine. Okay. So here it is, rule number two. Remember rule number two and number one, they work together sometimes. Now we go to rule number three in finding significant figures. Leading zeros are never significant. Leading zeros are never significant. Uh, I mean that those zeros that are placed as placeholders, they're, they're put there as placeholders, they don't, they don't really mean much. But um, they have to be in the number, but they don't mean much. Uh, then, because of that, they're not considered to be significant. Now, it, it does begin to get a little tricky at this stage, so be very careful. Look at number one. Number one, we have one significant figure because this zero doesn't count. The zero doesn't count because it is, it is a zero that is just there. It's placed, it, the value is just to, to, to have it placed there, okay? So this is considered to be a leading zero, so you don't count it. So we have one zero, one decimal place, and the significant figure is one. In the second, in the second example, this example, we have three zeros. Now this is very tricky now. We have three zeros before the seven. See, you sort of ignore the um, the decimal. We have three zeros before the seven, and those three zeros cannot be counted. But you have a zero between the four and the five. See, these three are not counted, but there is this zero that is between the four and the five. See, this zero. And you have to count that one because of rule number two. Rule number two says that you must count it. 
right? And rule number three says that you cannot count these. You cannot count these. And rule number one says you have to count the four, the four, the seven, the four, and the five. So in this case, you have all three rules. This one, again, you don't need the second rule because you don't have any any zero there that is sandwiched between between two non-zero numbers. Okay, so you have seven zeros, you have one decimal place, and because you only have one number, all of these, all of these are insignificant. You know, you don't, you don't have you don't have to do anything with them. So, this has one place and this has one place. See, this is one of the problems with this. The, the idea of significant figures. Because you look at this number and you, go, you look at this number and the numbers are so different, yet they have the same number of significant places. Um, in this example, again, we have all three rules because... So number one, we have to count the one, the eight, the five, and the six. Uh, rule number two, we have to count this zero, this zero, and this zero, because they are sandwiched between two non-zero numbers. And rule number three, we have to we have to eliminate these two. We cannot count them. So we we end up with uh, one, two, three, four numbers and three zeros between the numbers so we have seven that is the significant thing when you look at that you can easily tell that the, the, the you know this is just this is just kidding you know, this, 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 this is really kidding so you look at that number immediately you can tell that you you, you can only count all these three okay again that one has all three rules and number the last number here uh, you don't need number two here. You don't you do not need rule number two here because there there are no zeros in between here. There are no zeros in between there. So it's one, two, three numbers. Therefore, the significant figure is three. Okay. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to be talking about the, the rule, rule number four. Rule number four. And rule number four is, is further subdivided into three areas, and, and there's where we really it really gets quite quite tedious. Not difficult, not difficult, just tedious. Okay. Until next time, this is Nick.